friends, it's Star Thrifter, and I have a video today in regards to what will be listed today. We'll get right on to it. I've been doing this a uh, little bit of a series of, you know, video uh, taping what I'll be listing for the day. Anyhow, I thought it'd be kind of neat. This is 100% cashmere. Otherwise, I would not have picked up this brand. It's Charter Club, and it's a size small. But, you know, we're approaching winter. It's a very nice brown. Um, and it's it's pretty, it's all right soft. This might be that two-ply. Yeah, it's a two-ply cashmere. I'll have to do comps on that. But cashmere um, in any brand is going to sell. It's just obviously, you know, depending on the brand, it might sell for a whole lot more and quicker. It just depends. This is Sundance. In this brand, I have learned... <laughs> that the bigger sizes is what you want to pick up. However, I picked this up because it's heavily embroidered. This is a size small. And uh, they, ooh, this has got really, it's got some really pretty embroidered work on it. And um, anyways, I think they might have the style numbers and you could look it up to get keywords. Oh, it's got some on the sleeve too. Anyways, um, but that brand, you know, the plus sizes, it seems like it does the best. I think I do. This, I think, is by Sundance, too. I looked this up at the store, but that was last weekend, and I forgot. But I think this is by Sundance, too, and it's called uh, Whimsy Rose. And I think it's um, Sundance, too, but it's super cute. It's almost like a little thermal. It's got a lot of color, and it is I had never seen that and it's printed right on the material it's not a separate tag and uh, th this had um, it seemed like a pretty nice price on it I have been trying to pick up things that sell for more money or a quicker sell through rate however I've been having to add uh, bread and butter brands too that doesn't sell as quickly just to have enough to list every day there is a big question on whether does it really matter how many things you list per day. Do you have to list a set amount per day every single day? Write in the comments what you think and how it's worked for you. What I have found in all the studies that I have done regarding it, you have to list every day. The more you list every day a set amount, the more sales you're going to have. What I found, it's about half. If you list um, 20 you probably get like 10 sales a day. Eventually, it's supposed to come up even where if you list 20, you sell 20. But I think somebody said it could take like a year of listing 20 a day, seven days a week, you know, type of thing. Anyhow, that's just what I have found. This is Everlane, and uh, this actually is a little bodysuit. And this brand can be all right. Um, I have to do some research to uh, check to see what the comps will be on that. This, um, I've listed a lot of these, the chaps and the, um, they're usually like the Lauren Ralph Laurent, but it's the non-iron, especially plus size. However, some of the smaller sizes can sell too. 20, it could be anywhere from 20 to $30 on these. And this is a plus size one. Some of them have the flip cuffs, meaning they have a different design on the um, inside of the cuff. This one doesn't. But it's that non-iron. Now, if it was regular, I wouldn't have picked it up unless it was plus size. But I think this is like a 2X. And uh, they're usually cotton. And uh, they're really pretty. They're very nice shirts. They sell. Um, I don't know exactly what the sell through rate is on that, but... Um, I always pick them up. This is soft surroundings, and it's a size small, but it's brand new with tags. I think, I'll have to check. I think it's just a very long tunic top, and it has almost like a uh, like another sheer panel. It's very pretty designed. And um, anyways, um, it was brand new with tags. I don't, oh, it was like $79.95 brand new. I'll have to do comps. Obviously, you don't go, get nowhere near that. A lot of times you're fortunate if you get a half of that. With soft surroundings, though, I will state as far as picking it up with um, when it's used, is the, you want to go with the larger sizes or the plus size. The smaller sizes can really sit. That's what I've really found out about this brand. And uh, But it, this is brand new with tags, and it's very pretty. I'll have to do some comps on that, obviously. 
Life is good. Now, some people state that they get 20 bucks for these things used, the t-shirts, short sleeves, or more. I find your fortune if you get 10 or 15 out of them. Write in the comments how you do with it. However, now your bigger sizes are going to sell for more. This is a long sleeve, and it's a women's. This is actually a XXL. This will sell with it being a, a larger size. And the smaller sizes can sell, too. It's just that, you know, for the amount. But with this, the reason I picked this up was specifically because it was that, you know, much larger size. Because I think I might have paid half for that, whatever it was. A lot of these um, I buy on Friday at the one place where anything you get put in their blue bags, that you buy their blue bags. And anything you can fit there, you get half off. This is another Everlane, but this was very nice because I think it had wool or alpaca. It's a very nice sweater. And I looked at, the, when I was at the store, I think what it was made out of. But um, I don't have my glasses on. I can't uh, tell right there. I will have to do comps on that. Right now, you know, obviously it's a glory cardigan, you know, sweater season. However, I list actual cardigans all year round. Because think about it. If somebody works in an office or they go out to eat where there's a lot of air conditioning, sometimes you just want that little cardigan on. Um, but obviously winter is going to be the best time, especially for pullovers. I would not have picked up this brand, but it was 100% cotton. I think this is the same brand. I just sold an open front black. 100%. Did I just say 100% cotton? It's 100% cashmere. <laughs> um, anyways, and this is the two-ply. Actually, this is open front, too. Maybe the other one was a pullover, and this is the open front. And uh, it's Kirkland. Otherwise, I wouldn't, you know, pick that brand up. And, um... Generally, uh, that's a Costco brand. Not that some pieces might not sell from there, but that's just how I do it. This is Carbon to Cobalt. And now I've heard that this is a great brand, but I haven't found that it, it sold very quickly. This must be a woman's because it doesn't look like a men's, but I'll have to check it out. It's kind of got like a raw edge because most of the pieces I have found have been men's. I will have to figure this out. Um, XL, it's got to be a women's because there's no way that would fit a men. <laughs> Man, I'll have to do comps on that. But I do, do know that, you know, it's kind of a nice brand. I only picked this up for style, bit and bridle. I don't usually pick this up. And even the pro snaps, I don't know. Do your comps before you pick very much of that up. But the reason I picked this up is because it was an extra large. It's very pretty. It's kind of like got these different layers on it. And I'll be using keywords like Western and things like that. I don't know. Obviously, that would be like a bread and butter because I don't know how that one will do. Knox Rose, same thing with this brand. If you get the plus sizes, sometimes they can sell, especially the maxi dresses and maybe the mini. But even with the tops, if they're bigger, Knox Rose, this is a 2XL. It's really cute. Kind of like a, I don't know, I guess a boho baby style or baby doll style top. This is... Jones, New York, but it's a 2X, and it's it's really just a pullover, kind of like t-shirt material. Obviously, that will be more of a bread and butter brand, or piece to list. And then this is really pretty. <laughs> um, L.L. Bean, the only reason I got this, because L.L. Bean, I don't pick up a lot of it, and do your cups for you, do a, um, buy a lot of it, but this is a wrinkle resistant, and it's an XL, and the fact that it was pink paisley those are some really great features you know things um for you know selling it otherwise you know i wouldn't have picked it up that should be right around 15 pieces that's what i've been going with lately um i'd like to have it more than that eventually but um you know finding enough to list every day anyhow if you'd like you could subscribe i got you know a lot of other things that you could check out and um other videos up and um, if you could push the thumbs up button, I greatly appreciate that too. Many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.